This is Mike. He's from Southern Ontario. He's a northerner that moved down there, so we figured we'd take him out today and show him how not to catch fish because that's what we do around here. We go out and we don't catch anything. But So we're all packed up. We're ready to go. We're going to head out to a lake. And uh, it's really windy today and it's pretty chilly, so hopefully we can find a, a shoreline that doesn't have a lot of wind. And uh, there should be no slush today. Well, this morning anyway, because it's cold, so. Famous last words. Famous last words. So we're gonna take our chances, we're gonna head out, and uh, we'll see you guys on the lake. Yeah, so let's get going. So that's Mike, I'm Donovan, and this is Northern Home Garage, ice fishing is just number two. Well, here we are, we're out on the lake. We got, uh, we already got our holes drilled. We're actually in the same spot we were last weekend or for the last video you guys saw. Uh, I figured there's no wind here because we're kind of sheltered in this in this little bay right here. So kind of figured we'd uh, stay here. And uh, this is pretty well my fishing life right here. Uh, so if you're watching this video, like I said in the last one, to learn how to fish or how to store your rods, uh, you might want to watch another video because that is definitely not the way how to store the rods. This one over here is already getting some action. That guy over there, we dropped one in real quick because we had that one ready. So Mike's got the holes cleaned out and uh, I think we're gonna get started. All right, I'm not kidding you guys. They have been hitting since we got here, put the rods down. Unfortunately, we only have 12 minnows, uh, of which uh, 
probably eight are already gone, nine. And uh, it's been incredible so far. So we got one on the ice right now. Little speck. Oh, beautiful colors. Look at that. You guys see that? Beautiful fish. Not very big, but we'll take it. Right, Mike? Yeah, miscalculation on my part with the bait. Miscalculation? Well, you never know. You never know with the bait. Last week we had uh, a dozen and it lasted, well, until we ran out. And they were biting and we ran out, but you just don't know. Today's a, it's a cold day, it's windy and it's sunny, so we're doing okay, I guess. Stick around. Well, it was getting pretty chilly, so we decided to uh, set up the ice hut quickly. And uh, we got the little buddy heater down there, and this just gets the chill off. So today was supposed to be a nice day. It was supposed to be uh, minus nine, and I knew about the winds, but I didn't know about 100k winds, because it's pretty close to that. Luckily, we're on a shore where we're protected, but still only one on the ice, and now it's Mike's turn to catch one. <laughs> right, Mike? Sure. You know, he's been out of northern Ontario for quite for quite a while, so he's just reacclimatizing, I suppose. But his mom packed us a really good lunch. It's all good. Yeah. So here we are. Here we got these little uh, these little windows here, and we can peek outside and stare at the rods. And nothing going on out there right now. When we first got here, it was uh, they were hitting like they were hitting like crazy when we first got here. And then we pulled that one out and it just died. Just stopped, so. Didn't think we were gonna have enough minnows to start off. That's where we're at right now, so we're gonna give this about another hour or so and I think we're gonna pack it up and we're gonna head back. What do you think? Yep, yeah, another hour. Yeah, we're good. about another hour. Now we're nice and warm, I can go back outside, so. Understand why you won't hook. He's on, he's got it in his mouth. Yeah. Done, yeah. 
And it's still got my mint. My speaking out the window. The smart gun. Not a nope. well, probably one of the best parts about being outdoors is the uh, Mike's mum packed <laughs> snacks. These are the best. Thank you. This is going to be delicious. Mmm. Well, here we go. Well, we got some action on that one over there. So we got two on the ice here. It was moving around. I two here, and I just pulled that one out of there. He gave me a fight, that one, I'm telling you. This one over here. Oh, yeah. She's moving. Yeah, I'd get ready with that one if I were you, Mikey. As soon as the sun comes out, guys, that's when it seems to... That's when they seem to start biting. You gonna get that one, Mike? Mike? Yeah, I'm just waiting. You gonna get that one, bud? Gonna get it? Gonna get it? You notice uh, Mike, unlike my friend Guy, doesn't shovel anything. And uh, he's just sitting there patiently and hopefully we catch us on video. Well, that's it. We got two. We're all packed up. It's getting a little chilly. Set up the ice hut and if you notice, when you're out ice fishing, you always leave it as clean as when you got here. You won't find a speck of dirt on our, anywhere we fish. Other than maybe a dead minnow right over there, but gotta respect the environments you like to, to live in. So it's a very good idea. So we're on our way back take our time, take a nice little ride, and uh, we'll see you when we get home. back just loaded his machine onto the uh, onto the trailer I had a bit of difficulty finding a bank to get it onto because the banks are pretty large here and some really weird stuff was happening it was just kind of bogging and stuff so we think it's the DES on the switch because it died on top of the bank conveniently but <laughs> I don't know how about how convenient that is so that's his dad's machine so we don't want to break it we want it to we want him to lend it to you again right Mike yeah so anyway guys, appreciate you watching. Hope you had fun. Uh, you know, 
had my buddy Mike out here, couldn't have had a nicer day. Well, it could have been a bit warmer, but we caught some fish. We made it back safely. We're here in one piece, the machines are in one piece, and uh, now we're gonna go in and warm up. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you like this, and we'll see you guys next time.